file system scene here okay now i need to import the database okay the file has been done okay so next step is i need to go in the database and need to create a database if you haven't created but in this case i have already have created let me show you let's suppose how you can create the database and username in cpanel okay then uh, i'm going in the cpanel and the sql user and uh, uh, i'm creating, creating the database name like it's a test i'm just creating for you new new Space been created now. User has been created. Okay, so this way uh, you can you need to create the database now. I need it's okay, so you need to copy paste it ID and password here because you need to edit in uh, your config file when you're going to connect your database. Okay. User also been created. Now I need to add that user for that particular database in cPanel. So here I'm gonna to do how you can do it. Okay, add user, then another user, add it. I need to give a right to them. We need to give all the rights that uh, he can do everything. Database can do everything. Okay. Now upload the SQL file. So in in this database. I need to import the SQL file in PHP my admin. I have already imported in my created database but I am showing you how you can import the database SQL file. You need to go in the PHP my admin and just click on the select you need to select the database that you have just created and uh, okay, so let's suppose I have created a name site so I need to import database from here. Okay, so let's suppose okay so this way it will be imported in that new database file okay it will be imported but actually I already imported as I said in db underscore name underscore no so I'm using the database let's suppose your database has been imported okay then you need to change the ID and password in your WP config file then uh, okay so let me show you here uh, actually I'm, I'm using a VPN so some of the site not been accessed it's been blocking for the security purposes you need to go into this file and you need to change the ID and password here username and database ID and password here that we just created so see it's, it's blocking so uh, I also I already shown how you can do it in w, in config file okay now after adding the ID and password you need to go into that particular database you need to change the URL and links and uh, in the post section so I'm going in that first go in the op option section here change the URL name and also the email address you need to change it here need to add one script that I will also add the script for you how you can change all the URLs at once so my script will work I will copy paste in the description so after going in the database you need to go in the option section and then you need to change the URL let it be open so that I can show you that how you can do it. Go in the option section first, then you need to change the URL. Now I have just uh, changed uh, so that I will show you how you can edit. You need to change it here site name and URL real domain name. Okay. 
you can also change your email address here and just click on the save button in the go button here okay, click on the go so it will be done okay so now i need to go in the post sql section now I need to change from URL slash new year to my domain because it's whatever the folder name you have you need to update this all the URL with your current exit so this query will work I will copy paste this uh, in my video section so now click on the SQL copy paste it here send the uh, old URL and new URL here the query you need to exactly write here update underscore post set with UD replace underscore grid okay <clears throat> just a second okay this is my old URL that I was using now I need to edit here now replace with the new URL here click on the go button so you can see the magic that old URL will be replaced with the new one 2839 rows affected that means these URLs are changed okay so this way now the site will work you need to change some custom URL that you have put so you need to change it from your own way then it will be working okay so this way you can change your old server to new server with the cpanel option and also how you can update all the urls within one query okay so my side is working fine on the new domain thank you so much guys for watching thank you have a good day